So I wanted to do something a little bit different with this month's update, which will be um, June 2019. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work out, as it's quite a windy day, but the sun is out and I'm in the mood, so here we go. So this is my June update in the allotment for 2019. So starting off in the uh, greenhouse, I've got some little jam lettuce here, some little teeny, teeny, teeny baby asparagus that I don't know what I'm going to do with just yet. Yeah. Some more lettuce, some calendula, which are um, orange marigolds, various squashes, a lemon drop chili. It's the only chili I'm growing in the greenhouse. Everything else is in the polytunnel. There's a lemon cucumber there, which are these uh, little yellow cucumber ball things. Some sweet corn I'm going to put out, some more lettuce, and some nasturtiums, which have gone bonkers, and I don't know what I'm going to do with those. And I also have some garlic bulbs and however we go through we've got the compost which is eh, it's not doing terribly but it's all right my garden bit definitely needs some work because it's all dead or dying but it's kind of on the back burner i had some dahlias which had gone quite nicely but something's eating the shit out of them i have my little plum tree which looks relatively healthy, but something is definitely eating bits. Uh, my nectarine tree has started to go, but unfortunately, I don't know if this is rain related or if there's some sort of fungal infection, but we've got some red blistering of the leaves there. The Logan breeze, they're doing okay, but don't expect to get much fruit this year. One, two blueberries, not gonna get much of those. And my pear tree is just a tree this year. Over here I've got my garlics and my garlics have done pretty well. I just need to wait for maybe another week or so till we've had some consistent dry weather. And then I think I'll pull those out and stop drying them off, kill them off. <sighs> Poor little cabbage hasn't done very well, but that's on me for not covering them over. I've got a squash of some sort here. My chard and beetroot have finally gone and they're going hooray, hooray. Yes, nobody says anymore. Uh, over here we have some peas, which are doing all right. This bed I'm really pleased with. I've got peas, I have carrots uh, and beetroot all growing down here with one courgette plant over there. This bed did have it did have all of my broad beans in, but that's now been cleared. And I have a squash in one corner, a squash down here. I've started to put some onions out, but I think I probably went a little too early with these spring onions, putting them in here. I should have left them in the trays a bit longer, but live and learn. Over here we have sweet corn. Now, some of these have done really well. Very, very happy with these buggers here. Look at this one, absolutely magnificent. Some of the others, not so well. It's so windy. Got one bed of potatoes. This bed has, has done yeah, kind of okay. I've pulled a couple of plants out and harvested from two, maybe 10 usable potatoes, which I think is pretty poor. Um, but I think I've gone fairly early with the plants. Uh, this bed is my red. Shut up! This is my red Duke of York uh, potatoes. These were lovely, lovely, lovely um, pinkish skin on them. Really, really tasty. Uh, last year did really well. This year, mm, plants haven't grown so large. I pulled one out from the corner over there. You got maybe six or seven usable. So eh, not in the world, but look at this. Look at this baby. So this one I have really high hopes for. I can't remember which ones are in here. They might be Sapo Mira. Or uh, what they actually are. So I keep a, I do keep a little tab down here. Um, these are Vale Sovereign. And I think these are a white potato. Although I could be wrong. Uh, this is a little scallop uh, pumpkin. Some sort of pumpkin. And this is my final bed of potatoes, which is a bit of a mix of uh, done really well. You know, it's quite tall, almost a metre high there, so not quite as well. Uh, a little beets and quarter full today. Uh, my irrigation systems work really well. 
very, very happy uh, with that. I haven't filled the water back in weeks um, and it's still going strong. So now we're in the uh, quality tunnel and what do we have here? So I've got a, 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 my tomatoes have done very well. Uh, and unfortunately this thing, it's hard to tell, but um, so this one here is about a meter high now. Um, and to start, this is one I bought from Dobby's and it's got green tomatoes or will have green tomatoes, but uh, nothing set at the moment. This is another one. This one is uh, a, a red alert. Should get a lot of fruit off that. Uh, my marigolds are doing really well. Um, chilies not so much. This is probably the best of my chilli plants this year. This red lantern habanero. Uh, some more tomatoes. Uh, and this is one of my melon plants. It's kind of taken over on this side of the polytunnel. Hasn't really done much in terms of uh, setting fruit until about last week. And uh, now I think I've got one here. Uh, maybe one here, although that's just flowering. So who knows? Can't seem to find any male plants to, uh, male buds to actually pollinate them to guarantee pollination. But here's another female. There's another female. So hopefully I'll get some fruit off of that. Uh, this is one of my cucumbers now this one <laughs> nearly died it was down here a month or so ago uh, but it's come back quite nicely and this is one of my cucumber plants now this is doing incredibly well I'm very very happy with that I've, ha I've already had a fair bit of fruit off this one uh, cucumbers off this one and same with this one doing really well uh, I've got another tomato back here same here and this is the last of my lettuces last of my lettuce and I'm gonna let that one flower so I've never actually seen a lettuce flower before so we'll see how that one goes over in this corner so we've got this tomato plant here doesn't look the healthiest but it's setting fruit which is good I don't know what that is I think it's a wasp or a hornet so we stay away from him over there we've got Trinidad scorpion which uh, is one of the plants that I showed a photo of at the beginning of the year that went right back down to just twigs um, with the last frost, so it's coming back. We're not getting any actual fruit off it this year. Any chilies? I don't know. Another chili. This is uh, my cucumber, that's doing really well. It's starting to set fruit now, which is sort of get on camera. Some more tomatoes, more tomatoes. Also, lots of tomatoes. And then over here behind, I've got my melon, and right back there. I've got an actual melon that's growing, that's doing really well. Some more tomatoes. Uh, I think this is a cucumber. And this is the only gherkin uh, plant that actually did much of anything. And uh, as you see, so we've got some kind of misshapen. That's going to be an absolute monster of a gherkin. Uh, and then finally, a sweet pepper that I've that I, uh so a few months ago it's done really well in the greenhouse so I've put it in the polytunnel a couple of weeks ago and it seems to be settling in nicely so on the whole not too bad they've been weeding in here um, pretty much daily and I'm happy you know there's, there really isn't very much in here so all in all could be worse really um, now the main thing is what to do with these beds once the potatoes come out quite dry and growing a lot of salad, but I don't really know uh, what else I'm going to plant for the rest of for the rest of summer now. Uh, I'm a little bit oh, almost forgot the rhubarb. My rhubarb's doing very well. I'm very pleased with that. So I'm going to have to pull some of those out soon, I'd imagine. Maybe make a nice little cheesecake or some sort of pudding. Um, the thing I'm disappointed about the nectarine. Uh, that's that's. I hope it's fine. Uh, I think it's fungal, so I might have to spray it with a fungicidal spray later in the year. I'm very annoyed about this next plot here, which I really wanted to expand out onto, but the council won't give me the plot um, because apparently it's occupied, clearly. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I think it's been um, things are coming along quite nicely. So um, I don't know if anyone's actually watching this all the way through or not. Um, if you are, if you have, thanks. I hope I haven't bored you. Um, if not, then I'll, I will look back on this and you know, as years go by and 
see where I went wrong and see what I learned and whatever. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now um, and maybe I'll do another one next month or maybe it'll just be photos. Anyway, ta-ta.